Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love and life as it really is. Now, we are all aware of the supply chain issues which started after the world went into lockdowns because of the cervasis sickness. You know what I'm talking about, but I'm avoiding using that term in order to not attract attention from the YouTube bots, if you understand what I mean. Lots of factors have affected the supply of goods, from workers facing lockdowns, lack of shipping containers, backlogs at ports, and shortage of truck drivers, all the way to a shortage of retail staff at the retail end. S lack of staff needed to um, pack the shelves and um, generally just man the stores even. In particular with farms, it is a shortage of farm workers such as fruit pickers. These jobs used to be filled in with temporary workers such as backpackers on holiday visas, but because of the lockdowns, they've all gone home and no more have been allowed to, or, to come into the country. No more have arrived, which is the case at the moment in Australia with the farmers crying out for workers and farm workers and fruit pickers and they're even pressing for the government to uh, have a special program to allow for to bring to allow to bring in Pacific Island workers in to um, do all the work so that we can have food on the table because the locals don't want to do that type of job I think that's that's everywhere in the Western countries at the moment um, facing that issue However, despite all this, the only warning we have received here is about the potential shortage of Christmas presents, with the media here warning people to shop early for Christmas as you're going to have, you may have problems with the shortages come around Christmas time, trying to get Christmas stock and Christmas gifts. However, they have not warned about stocking up on food, and in fact, Governments, not just in Australia, but uh, most governments around the world have advised against stocking up and hoarding food. And reassuring that says, oh, there's plenty of, of food, don't worry, don't worry, that sort of thing. However, in China, the government is doing just that. People have been asked to stock up on things such as instant noodles, bottled water, compressed biscuits and luncheon meat. Other trending products have included rice, of course, soy sauce, chili sauce, and noodles. In fact, on the Taobao website, which is owned by Alibaba, the top search uh, on the platform is household stockpile list. Now, once the announcement was made, there was a massive panic buying spree at food stores all around China. Now, I've got a clip for you of that in action, so let's take a look. So is China running out of food or is there something else behind it? 
is it a food crisis or will there be a nation nationwide lockdown are they expecting a very harsh winter as there has been so been power outages in china which has affected the production of goods as you know china is the factory of the world and that has led to shortages all around the world of products and so forth or could it be tensions with taiwan and that's the reason well the vendors in china are uh, understandably running out of stock with all this panic buying and vegetable prices have become even dearer than meat as extreme weather has affected their production. Imagine that, vegetables cost you more than meat. Well, in, in certain circumstances like this, it really um, is more expensive and uh, I guess it's understandable that it would be. And not only has the government asked people to stock up on food, they've also asked people not to waste food. And even in restaurants, if you've eaten and there's leftovers to get a box for takeaway, and even customers are encouraged to report restaurants that waste food. Very interesting though, no stock up notices were issued by the Chinese government last year when the cerveza sickness first broke out. Not even in Wuhan, which was the epicenter of um, the outbreak. So why this year and not last year? Very interesting. So what should we make of all this? Should what's been happening in China be a sign that we should also be stocking up? So have you felt shortages around your area? Have you experienced shortages when you've been shopping? And if so, on what type of products? Is it just general merchandise or has it come to being food, being in shortage? Let me know by leaving your thoughts below. And if you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well, that's all for this segment. And until I see you next, remember to stay safe confident and gorgeous. So until next time, it's bye for now.